Okay, so this is an indeterminate problem with, in which we need to determine how much is internal stress and internal force in the system. Uh, pretty similar to the problem that I just talked about. We start with free body diagram, like this. Uh, we cut our structure from two parts, put internal forces in the cut section, and we will consider just the middle part. And if you write an equilibrium equation for that, we will see negative F1 plus 175 kips plus F2 is zero. So we have two unknowns and one equation and we can't solve it. So this is indeterminate. And the degree of indeterminacy is one because we need one extra equation to solve this problem. All right, step number two, write down all the formations as a function of force. So delta one is FL divided by EA Everything but F is known. I'm going to plug the values. F1 times length of the first element, which is 84 inch. Modular elasticity of the first element is 10,000 KSI, and area is 4.4. I plug the values. That gives me F1 divided by 523.8. One hint, one trick. If you divide this, you can write it like a very small number multiplied by f. It's easier to work with larger numbers, so I prefer to put the numbers in the denominator of that fraction instead of multiplying that by a very small number. Because we tend to round that, and because those numbers are very small, the rounding might be large to change the final answer. So it's better to follow the way that I write here. Similar to that, I will do the same for delta 2. Let's plug the values, and that gives us F1 times 144 divided by 30,000 KSI times 5.6, and that would be F2 divided by 1166.7. Last step is compatibility of deformation, which is similar to the previous problem, delta 1 plus delta 2 is 0. So plug the values, F1 divided by 523.8, plus F2 divided by 1166.7 is 0. And we get one extra equation, which is F2 is equal to negative 2.227 times F1. And finally, solve it for force. Combining 1 and 2 gives us F1 equal to uh, 54.2 kips, positive, and F2 equal to 120.8 negative. Okay, there is a way to guess what is the correct answer for this problem. Look at this. Steel element on the right has higher modular elasticity and higher cross-section area. If you compare that with the, with the left side, if you compare the options that you had, you may find that the only option which works, which has lower force in the left side, would be that 54.2 kips. So, you may guess the answer of these problems if you understand the concepts. I don't recommend you to do that, but just in case that you are running out of time, this, this gives you a vision on what would be the answer of a problem. All right, let's determine stress. Stress is simply force over area, and that gives me 12.32 KSI in element number one, and in element number two would be negative 21.57 KSI.